Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh and Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJBZO. Today, let's talk control. What is control? Well, control is a win condition that seeks to dominate the field through effect removal and cards that set parameters for how cards move and when. What is the big difference between control and stun? Well, that's a pretty decent question. The way I see it, aggro decks push forward, stun decks push back, and control decks push down. That means that aggro decks put a lot of field presence on the board, stun decks try to push your opponent's plays back to stop them from completing, and then control players allow those plays to happen and then put them in the grave. So, to be more specific, where a stun deck would try to stop the opponent from completing plays. That's how stun works. They allow their opponent to go long enough until they actually do something that's a minor threat and then they just stop the whole thing and blow them up. Whereas a control deck allows your opponent to make uh, to make some plays and then when it comes to their turn they remove everything on your opponent's board uh, and then pokes for damage. Uh, what does it mean if you're a control player? Well, chances are, if you're a control player, you really like your games to have a steady back-and-forth motion between your you and your opponent. You think that Yu-Gi-Oh! games are all about the early to mid-game, uh, and that the point of Yu-Gi-Oh! is a struggle of advantage between you and your opponent. Chances are, if you are a control player, you think that aggro decks are no problem. Aggro decks are just like, Easy peasy, because no matter how big the pins they put on the board, you're going to knock them down. Besides that, they always seem to be walking into your traps. However, you do think that stun decks are unfair and degenerate, and you absolutely hate playing against them, because no matter what you do, they will always stop your play. You put a card on the board, they take it away. You try to make a combo, they take it away. So you just really don't like stun decks. Uh, you're, the worst part of your day is when you have to, like, take on two Constellar matchups in a row at Locals, um, so chances are, if these things are true for you, you are probably a control player. Um, what does a control win condition look like in a deck? A control deck almost always uses a large amount of effect removal or a modification of your opponent's attack points or effects. So cards like Book of Moon are very control. Um, decks like uh, Fire Fist, Medolce, um, other prominent ones include Spell Books, uh, Wind Ups. These are all very control-based decks. They often have a sizable trap lineup and just as big or even bigger a spell lineup uh, to their trap lineup. They use a lot of monster effects, which either shift the... Um, which either remove cards from the board, shift the uh, motions of another card, whether it's to attack position or defense position, negate their effects. They use a lot of monster effects to control cards that are already on the board, rather than attempting to stop cards from being put on the board. Um, other control decks that are very prominent in the game right now, um, Harpy Ladies, um, are a deck that use a control um, kind of an equilibrium of control and aggro. So this is going to segue into what a control secondary strategy looks like. Control secondary strategies usually seek to follow up or ensure uh, aggro strategies. There are some control stun decks or stun control decks, um, but they are fairly rare uh, in that usually what they do is that if your stun strategy allows something to slip through the cracks, um, then you use contr a control strategy to back up that play. But most of the time, a control secondary strategy operates in an aggro deck. These are in decks like Dragon Rulers, for instance, uh, which not, don't just put big beaters on the board, they use cards that control the game, things like Dragosack and Big Eye, to control the field in order to increase the probability that their aggro plays work. So that is what control looks like. If you are a control freak, let me know down below. And then, of course, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why. In the comment section below, and then subscribe for more decks, discussion, analysis, and general Yu-Gi-Oh! shenanigans. Meanwhile, thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB Zero, and I got a jet. See you guys.